What's going on everyone? So a month ago I measured the moon and these are the results that we got. But the fun thing about science is we can repeat it and do it again. So we're going to try it again with last night's full moon. So we've got the uh, Globe Killer 950 out and we're going to measure the moon. I'm actually probably going to walk it out to the road. But we're going to we're going to measure the moon today and see what happens. So we're going to do this quickly because you guys have seen how I've measured these in other videos. So I did this one at 6:09 p.m. last night. I did this one at 9.51, um, moon meridian was at like 12.03, but I worked today and didn't want to have to wake up in the middle of the night. So we got a six and a half hour difference, a little over. Um, these are the measurements that I got. Horizontal pixels by vertical pixels, these are the area. So if we go by change of area, it's 6.2%, which is, which is a drastic change. I mean, I, when I did it last month, it was like 2.9% or something. But here's what's interesting, looking at the horizontal and the vertical, those are big differences. So we'll look at the difference there. Um, horizontally, it only grew 1.2%. Vertically, it grew almost 5%, 4.9. So this is actually ends up being a perfect example of vertical compression when the moon or sun is on the horizon because uh, we get atmospheric density. Down here, if it's like right on the horizon, just crests, you have like 600 and some miles of atmosphere, whereas up here, it's like 500 and something miles of atmosphere. So just the atmospheric gradient difference is massive, um, which is why we get a massive vertical vertical compression or, or expansion, whichever way you're going, versus horizontally, it's not as big or measurable. And you can kind of see it did rotate a little bit. I don't have a tracking camera that would keep that in the same position, so this was by hand and just trying to get it as close as I could. Um, but yeah, so we did get a different measurement than we did last month, but we did get a great example of this vertical compression when low on the horizon. I hope you take anything away from this. If you didn't, that's cool too. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, leave them in the comments. I can send you the original files of these if you want. But yeah, have a good one.